everybody, how's it going? Uh, we're going to do a quick tutorial today on how to add custom textures to your uh, models with an idea maker and how to set them up for printing. Uh, this is specifically going to be more focused on the custom texture side um, and, uh, and not so much sort of some of the embedding and things like that. We'll save that for another video. So this is going to be a quick and dirty how to get one in here. Um, either either one of your own photos that you want to add as a texture or downloading a custom texture from the idea maker website so uh, do me a favor too sorry for the long intro uh, if you could uh, like and subscribe if you uh, get anything out of this video that would be great um, it helps the channel a whole bunch when you do that uh, so first thing we're going to do is go up here to file and for this tutorial I'm going to add a primitive uh, and I'm going to add just a cylinder here and we're going to specify how big we want this thing so 50 millimeter radius we'll do this 100 millimeters high and i'm going to add this i'm going to make this like 100 segments and so we've got our basic shape in here and then if you want to add a texture to it you're essentially just applying a picture to the outline or to the to the outside that we're going to wrap up wrap this thing in a picture and then we're going to set up some um some parameters to to tell it uh where how to offset and what colors to offset and it's it's it sounds more difficult than it is so with your part selected you come up here to texture um, and there's there's three options in here there's normal which is just this right this is its normal texture um, there's embedded uh, embedded texture and there's custom texture so we're going to focus on custom so you click custom and you've got to tell it uh, what mapping type uh, to use so in this case it's a cylinder so we're going to say cylinder if you had brought in a cube or a sphere or something like that then you want to select one of those potentially um, but you know you can sort of mix and match which is nice um, and to add your 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 picture in this case I'm going to add like a little Mandalorian logo to, to first start out so you hit your plus you navigate to your file that's um, hopefully on your local machine so I'm going to come down here to my pictures uh, I'm going to find this little Mandalorian logo there he is to click and it's brought in now it's going to wrap the whole thing with the picture uh take note that the top and bottom in this case like if you've got a box or something like that it's not actually going to print this on the top and bottom it's only going to go around the outer the outer border outer shells right not the top and bottom shelves because those those are going back and forth this way it's not printing that way so think about this more like it's printing it like a little thing right so um and in this case, so now you can tweak things around. You can do, you have move settings, so you can move things um, by segment. You can move things by percentage, up or down, depending on what you want. Um, and then you can have this thing repeat um, n number of times. So think about uh, this one as columns and this one as rows. So if I do two, so now I'm doing two vertically, right? And if I click here, now I'm adding another row, right, to repeat this all the way around. Um, so that's how you can sort of tweak things to make it how you want. So you can do something intricate like that, where it's going to print a whole bunch of these little guys around. You can do fewer, whatever you want to do. For, for this case, I'm going to leave this at, um, I'm going to leave this just like that. So essentially I'm going to have a Mandalorian on the front and a Mandalorian on the back, right? Cause that's one column essentially. And again, top and bottom won't print. Uh, so wrapping. Do you want it to repeat? Do you want to mirror the image? Do you want to clamp it to an edge or clamp to a border? Uh, in this case, we're just going to say repeat all the way around. So um, I'm going to ignore this override slice settings for now, because essentially if you pick this texture outside only, it's going to run some defaults that you may or may not like. So um, I like having a little bit more control over this. So I'm going to leave those off and I'm going to go to the start slice. You pick your normal profile, click edit. And you're going to run over here to the special tab. And with special tab, you want to make sure that, that this lateral surface texture is turned on. So with that turned on, you have some options here. So a texture uh, lighter color up. So this is a black and white image. So this is saying that if I pick this, the white color is going to be, or the, or the dark color is going to be inset to the model. Uh, and if I uncheck it, then the dark color or the Mandalorian logo will be outset to the wall. Um, texture color normalized. So if this is, if you have a, a grayscale image that you're bringing in, then it, it will, it will texture, it will adjust the texture in these parameters based on how dark your grays are. Okay. So, um, I'm going to say texture the outside only. 
So if you had a vase that was, you know, technically had a, had a bottom sides, but no top, and you wanted to texture the inside too, then you could leave this unchecked and it would texture both sides. In this case, we're just going to texture the outside. Now for fun, let's just, let's say, you know, infill, we're going to do zero. And for solid, we're going to do, um, uh, no bottoms and no tops. So basically we're going to make a lampshade and let's hit okay. And let it slice. And it could take a minute um, or more, right? Depending on how fast your machine is, how complex the image is, um, how many times you've had things repeat and all that good stuff. It could take a little while for it to, to chew on it. Um, and let's hit preview. And again, it's it's preparing the slice and that can also take a little bit of time too because just, you're throwing a lot of information at it. So the slicer needs time to prepare both things. So here we go. So now we've got a little lampshade which is kind of cool because you can see the inset here uh, on the inside of it. Uh, and here you can see what it's done. So it's added that image uh, to the outside of my model. So uh, pretty cool. I like that. Um, and again, I just sort of left the standard. So it's, you know, it's three walls running up and down. So it's basically just a, a hokey little Mandalorian lampshade. So let's, let's look at another option here, which is if we go back, same shape and everything, if we go back to texture, instead of using your own, you can download textures from the idea maker website and to do that you can hit more and say import from the idea maker library when you click that it will take you out to here and this is their texture library it's also up here under their texture menu and there are lots and lots of textures i was really uh, surprised at how many they had to offer to find one you like you hit the download here it'll download it it'll put it in your downloads folder you unzip it um put it wherever you want on your computer and then you can import that as part of your uh uh, as your, uh, as your image here, as your texture. So, uh, instead of the Mandalorian logo, now we're going to hit plus, we're going to head over here to our downloads folder and double click that. And it's going to have a dot texture, uh, file extension. So let's double click that. Yes. I want to override. And so here's the texture that I downloaded, you know, again, it's not going to do top or bottom because we're not printing that. I'm going to leave all my settings the same. I'm not going to mess with anything. I'm going to slice again, slice. And again, you can make this um, as intricate uh, or as basic as you like. And here we go. So the preview is up. Here's what that texture pattern looks like um, in this lampshade type scenario. And again, you're not, you're not um, locked into just this one shape. You can do this with, uh, with Cubes, rectangles, spheres, anything you want. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so, so there you go. So have fun with it. I hope it helps. Uh, this is definitely, I think it's been there for a while, but it's definitely new to me. Uh, I hadn't, it wasn't a feature that I had to ever really play with. So I decided to, to, deep, to dive into it a little bit. So uh, again, like and subscribe and um, I appreciate it. See you.